Welcome to another video walk around. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2018 Mazda CX-9 GT in this gray color. This all-wheel drive, four-door, seven-passenger SUV comes equipped with a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine mounted to an automatic transmission. As an added bonus, this vehicle has only had one previous owner and has no accidents reported, so it is in pristine condition inside and out. Starting up front with some of the notable exterior features, you've got that nice bold Mazda grille up front with lots of silver accents. The one along the bottom here actually runs all the way into the casing for the headlights. And speaking of the headlights here, you've got the gorgeous design with the halo light around the center projector beam bulb there. And if we take a look towards the side here, you'll find the massive 20 inch rims the vehicle currently rides on. And those are wrapped in the ZX tires with lots and lots of tread as you can see. As we continue down the vehicle, you'll find the LED turn signal indicator integrated right into the mirror. That nice, sleek design there. You've also got the nice silver accents around the windows and along the bottom of the doors. And speaking of the windows, they are tinted in back for some additional privacy for the rear passengers or rear cargo. And that tint continues in the back window as well. If you take a look up top, you'll find a nice color matched roof fin antenna, as well as the color matched roof spoiler with the integrated brake light. Back here you've also got a rear windshield wiper, as well as more of those nice silver accents. Over on the left hand side there you'll find the CX-9 all wheel drive badging. And over on the right hand side you've got the Sky Active Technology badging. Finally if we take a look underneath here you'll find the dual exhaust with the chrome tips helping to round out that very unique, bold and modern style. If you're looking for an SUV that's absolutely packed with utility, can fit 7 passengers and is still affordable, you found it in this Mazda. So let's go ahead and hop inside and get started with the interior features. Hopping inside this sleek and stylish SUV is nice and easy thanks to the proximity smart key system, but of course you do have the standard remote keel sentry options on the key fob as well, and you'll also find the button for the power left gate so you can easily pop the hatch without having to hop in the vehicle. All you have to do to hop inside is walk up with the key on your person and press the button on the door handle here to unlock the vehicle, and of course when you hop out you can press that button again to easily lock the vehicle. Inside, you're good with the very stylish and comfortable black leather seating here. The nice design in the center of the seat, including the perforation for your heating functions. Just below the driver's seat here, you will find the power adjustable seat controls, which includes your power adjustable lumbar support. And you'll also find the memory settings for your driver's seat, so you can easily switch between seat settings when you're switching drivers. As an added bonus, you'll also find all of these power adjustable controls over on the passenger side as well. So let's go ahead and hop inside, fire this vehicle up, and get started with all the bells and whistles. The features inside this CX-9 start with a push button ignition. Simply put your foot on the brake and push the button to start the vehicle as long as the key is inside. If you take a look over at the driver's side door panel, you'll find the controls for the power windows, locks, and mirrors. And as an added bonus, all of your windows are one touch down, one touch up automatic. Underneath, you do have some additional storage as well as an extra cup holder and speaker. Part of your Bose sound system, which sounds absolutely phenomenal. Just to the right of the door panel, you'll find the button for your power lift gate, as well as the buttons to toggle your parking sensors, front and rear, your lane departure alert, and your traction control. If you take a look under the steering column here, you do have the manual adjustment for your tilt and telescoping steering wheel, so you can easily get it in the perfect position. And if you take a look just behind the wheel at the turn signal stock, you'll notice that this vehicle does come equipped with automatic headlights. And over on the other side, you'll find automatic windshield wipers, both of which are great set it and forget it features. Back over on the left-hand side here, of course, you've also got the switch for the fog lights that I showed you on the exterior. If we back up and take a look at the wheel here, you've got a very nice leather-wrapped three-spoke wheel, as well as some subtle bolsters up top for a nice ergonomic design. Over on the left-hand side here, you'll find the steering wheel mounted audio controls, which includes your volume rocker and track selector buttons. You've also got the Bluetooth hands-free calling and voice recognition buttons. And you'll also find the info button here, which cycles through the screen over on the right-hand side of the gauge cluster. So we'll go ahead and take a look up there in just a moment. Over on the right hand side, you'll find the buttons for your adaptive cruise control system. It's a radar guided cruise control system, so you can adjust the follow distance with the button here. So we'll go ahead and take a look up in the screen now. You can see over on the right hand side there, you've got at the bottom the exterior temperature as well as the odometer, and you can see that this vehicle currently has 22,288 kilometers on it. In this first information screen here, you've got a compass as well as the range. Next, you've got your two different trips here, so you can check your total distance as well as your average fuel consumption. You've also got your service indicator here, as well as the screen for your lane departure alert and radar guided cruise control. As you can see, when you adjust with the buttons on the steering wheel that I showed you, it'll adjust in this screen here and you've got that nice little CX-9 Sprite as well. 
If we go ahead and take a look up top here, you'll find a heads up display. It might be difficult to see on camera, but you do have that great looking heads up display with the digital speedometer as well as the indicator for your cruise control if you have that on. If we take a look towards the center of the dash here, you'll find your tablet style touchscreen infotainment system sticking up from the top of the dash here. You can use the touchscreen, but you've also got the controls down here that you can use if you are more comfortable with that. In terms of your applications here, you can see you've got your HD radio traffic map. You've also got your fuel economy monitor as well as the vehicle status monitor. Next, you've got the entertainment screen here. And in terms of your audio options, you have lots to choose from, including your AM, FM radio. You've also got XM radio, AHA, Pandora, Stitcher, Bluetooth. And then of course, you've also got USB ports and an auxiliary input. So you can be sure that you can listen to your own audio regardless of the type of device that you have. Speaking of a device, if it is hooked up, you can access the communication screen there. You've also got navigation, which is a very nice feature to have. And finally, the last menu here is your settings. So you've got lots to go through and customize to your preferences. You've got a whole bunch of different screens to go through up top here. So there's lots to customize. And finally, if you do put this vehicle into reverse, you'll also see the backup camera pop right up. And you've also got the indicators for your front and rear parking sensors up top. If you put the vehicle back in a park, of course, you'll bring back the main screen. And as we continue down here, you've got a couple of climb events as well as the hazard lights. Then you've got the buttons for your three-stage heated seats and your heated steering wheel so you can stay comfortable in those cold winter seasons. You've also got the passenger airbag warning here. And just below that, you'll find the dual zone climate controls for the vehicle. So you can adjust the temperature independently for the driver and the passenger. It's also an auto system, so you can hit the auto button there and let the vehicle adjust the fan speed, heat, and placement to get it to your desired temperature. For those hot summer days, of course, you do have air conditioning, which is a very nice feature. And as we continue down, you'll find a nice little storage tray, lots of room inside. Then you've got your shifter here, and as you can see, you can put that into a manual mode if you're looking to manually shift between the gears. And if you're looking to get a little bit of extra performance, you've got the sport mode button here, so you can put it into sport mode as well. As we continue down, you've got the tactile controls for the infotainment system as well as your volume knob you also got the parking brake here and then of course you've got a couple of cup holders then you've got this unique situation for your center console you've got a nice padded leather surface up top and then you can open up either side to reveal your center console and inside there of course you've got the usb and auxiliary input that i mentioned as well as an sd card slot and you've also got that nice carpeted bottom over on the passenger side here you've got your glove box with the owner's manual inside and over on the passenger side door panel, you'll find the same great design that we found on the driver's side, as well as, of course, the controls for the power locks and the passenger side window. Taking a look up top, you'll find an auto-dimming rear mirror, so that'll keep your mirror nice and dim automatically without you having to flip it down at nighttime. And you've also got the three programmable garage door buttons there, so you can easily access your garage without having to dig out your key fob. Up top here, you'll find a handy little sunglasses holder, as well as a couple of interior lights. And finally, you've got the controls for your sunroof, which is a fantastic feature to have in the summer. Lets in tons of light, and of course, you can open it up and let in lots of airflow as well. And that concludes the features up front, so let's go ahead and hop in back and take a look at some of the features in the rear of this vehicle. In the rear of this vehicle, you'll find more of that same gorgeous black leather seating that extends across the second row bench seat. If we hop inside here, you'll also find a couple of handy storage pockets in the back of the driver and the passenger side seat. And you've also got two layers here, which is a nice little added bonus. You won't see that in too many vehicles, but it's nice to help keep things organized. In the back of the center console here, you'll find the very nice premium features, including the three-stage heated seats for both side rear passengers. And you've also got rear climate controls here as well, so you can adjust the temperature independently from the front passengers. You'll also find a couple of climate vents here to keep the rear passengers comfortable and if we take a look towards the center seat here you've also got a very nice fold down padded leather armrest here that also includes a couple of extra cup holders and you can also open it up to reveal lots of storage inside and two extra usb ports to keep all the devices charged up for your rear passengers accessing the third row is nice and easy you've got the latch up top here that'll fold the seat back forward and move the bottom of the seat forward making it nice and easy to access that third row. And as you can see, you've got a surprising amount of leg room for your third row passengers and more of that great black leather. Back here, you'll also find a couple of cup holders on either side there. So we'll go ahead and take a look back in the cargo area, but before we do, we'll take a quick glance at the rear door panel here, where you'll find the controls for the power windows, some storage underneath, more of that Bose sound system, and you've also got rear sunshades, which is a very nice feature. Helps to keep the sun out of the rear of this vehicle and add some additional privacy as well. 
popping the power lift gate is nice and easy. We've got the button underneath here, and it'll pop right open for you. And then back here, you'll find the nice CX-9 cargo liner, helping to keep that carpet underneath in pristine condition. Folding these rear seats down is nice and easy. You're simply going to grab the latch, and it'll fold the headrest down for you, and then the seat, nice and easily. And with the seats folded down, as you can see, you've got tons and tons of interior cargo space. Over on the right-hand side here, you'll also find a 12-volt outlet, as well as a couple of hooks on either side here. And you've also got some additional storage underneath, as well as under this first compartment here. It's a nice little hidden storage compartment, and of course, all the way underneath here, you've also got your spare tire, as well as the tools to change it, in case you ever get a flat. Closing up the power lift gate is nice and easy. You've got the button up top here. You can simply hit that, and it'll close right down for you. That concludes this short video walk around, but as you can see, this vehicle is absolutely packed with features from bumper to bumper, and there's lots that I didn't get a chance to go over, so make sure you stop by Kelowna Toyota, located at 1200 Leith Head Road, or visit us online at kelownatoyota.com for more information. We look forward to seeing you soon.